Mr. Chairman, thank you for the, the opportunity to present some of our work and some of the, the ongoing discussions, the exciting new areas that we're exploring in the treatment of rectal cancer. Um, I give this talk also on behalf of my wife, Regina Bates-Stan, who's a professor of radiology, and we have been doing a lot of MR work together since 15 years. So in case you don't know where Maastricht is, this is the map of the Netherlands. I'm not sure you can see it. It's down here at the south uh, in an eccentric corner. And after 20 years, we've decided uh, in the summer to move more centrally. So we're going to the Netherlands Cancer Institute in Amsterdam. Um, I have no disclosure. So the question is uh, when not to operate? Well, there's only one answer when there is no tumor left. That's the easy answer, but that gives you immediately two other questions. So how sure are you that there's no tumor left? And the second more difficult question, and I'll come back to this, so how sure do you need to be? Do you need 100% proof? <clears throat> to put it in, into perspective, I'll talk briefly about the treatment strategies in rectal cancer, where we came from and where we're heading. Um, and I'll tell you something about the experience that we have with standard indication for chemoradiotherapy. I mean, with standard indication, is these are patients where we are not particularly aiming for organ preservation. So we have, these are the more advanced tumors. We have an accepted indication, and the complete response just happens. Um, that is, of course, a small group, and the future is to to offer organ preservation for the patients with a smaller tumor with a higher chance of response where it is a deliberate goal. So I'll address these two. So to put it into perspective, the biggest step forward in the treatment of solid tumors was with radical surgery. This is, uh, this is Halstead depicted here, but there's a couple of German and, and Austrian surgeons who made big steps forward. Not just the tumor, but the whole um, lymph node draining area around it. And actually, um, this is, says 19th century, but for the rectum, this has only been really well addressed in the last 20 to 30 years by Bill Heald, with a total mesorectal excision. Now, the next thing was uh, how can we use radiotherapy together with surgery, both to achieve a better local control, but also to preserve function and organ. And breast and soft tissue sarcoma, radiotherapy was used as an adjunct to preserve more of the organ.